Well, welcome to my new vlog. Today I'm going to talk about four things. First thing is about, well, probably five, because the, the first one is down here. I'm down at Roaring Beach, or Roaring Bay Beach, which is only about a quarter of an hour from uh, where we live. Ben and I and Lynn Norm you know, come down here regularly. We love it down here. It's a lovely walk and a lovely quiet beach at the moment. There's just me, Ben's unfortunately at home. I just need a bit of time myself down here to put this together. So uh, yeah, we're having a, well, I'm having a, a lovely time down here. Today I really want to talk about um, the other things. Uh, one is Tasmania, just to give you a, the people who are not from this area. Um, Tasmania is that little tiny dot and underneath Australia. Small area of, um, we've got about 500,000 people, so it's a, a very tiny area. And industry-wise, we've got... Um, Forestry, huge forestry industry and um, production of beautiful woods. We happen to have two of probably the best King Billy and Hewn Pine, the best boat building wood ever. And uh, not that I'm biased, of course, but uh, beautiful timber and some beautiful boats are made from Hewn. And the next is tourism. Tourism is becoming a major industry in Tasmania. Many people are coming down because they love to the lifestyle, they love the, the scenery, beautiful scenery down here, and the people are so nice as well. Another industry which is becoming a, a major force in Tasmania is Atlantic salmon. I know we're not in the Atlantic, we're certainly in the Southern Pacific, but Atlantic salmon is becoming a huge industry in Tasmania, and regularly you'll see dotted around the fish tanks. Um, and they tell me that the salmon coming out of here are, are rather superb. Unfortunately, I can't uh, tell you too much about it because uh, I'm allergic to any seafood, so uh, it's one thing that will never be on our plate at home. The next part is Stephen Walker. He was an artist and a beautiful sculpture and did um, many sculptures around Tasmania. The whale down on Cockle Creek is one of his probably most famous ones. and. Uh, seen by many, many people and uh, we've been down there many times and uh, went down with my daughter and certainly my wife and Ben have been down there and uh, it's a lovely place. And then there's some Mawson sculptures in Hobart. Um, I was taking a friend of mine there, he's on his way down to the Antarctic. Yes, they were also done by him. And the last part of the story is on a young fisherman. His name was Zach. He worked for Hewan Agriculture down here. And in 2009, there was a serious, serious accident. So unfortunately, Zach lost his life. Zach's family Hewitt Agriculture and Stephen Walker came down to this area, down at Roaring Beach, deciding what to do to, as a memorial for, for Zach. And while they were here, a huge sea eagle flew over and their mind was made up. Let's put a sea eagle here looking over the fishermen on this area. And they also thought that at the time maybe it'd be worth having two sea eagles so they could look, out, look after each other. Little did they know that within a year, Zach's father would also die. So the pair of them are now here looking after. Stephen Walker went to work and designed these magnificent sea eagles. And here they are.
just for me, the sun is hitting one eagle. And here is his mate. This is a beautiful place to just sit, relax and watch the world go by and uh, reflect on life and think about the hard-working people out there. It's just such a relaxing place. As a bit of a sidelight, um, when they were installing these beautiful sculptures, the boys, friends of Zach's, came down here and did the installation, putting the concrete in, and at the end of it they just sat and had a beer and talked to Zach. He was there watching over them. So we can certainly thank the kindness of industries around Put up these beautiful memorials for just for people they didn't want any signs indicating who did it it was just a just a thank you and uh, thank you so much to the family for giving me this information and allowing me to put this little vlog together just to give you some idea of what these beautiful sea eagles are sitting at the end of a lovely beach called Roaring Beach